we'll let that go ahead and paginate. So what it's doing is it's slurping all this data in automatically. It's pretty sweet. Crypto slow, cryptocurrency news and investing. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? Super excited today to talk about this new tool that I found. And that is a tool that allows you to export data in nice clean tables from Dune Analytics. So if you're like me, you're a data nerd, you want the whole data set. The problem is the data is paginated, meaning you have to go to the next page to load up the next set of data. And it's super annoying, it's super annoying. Now I guess you can upgrade your Dune account for a couple hundred dollars a month and have this access, but using this tool that was only $14 a year, I'm able to do this. So for today's example, I'm using the Elephant.Money Futures dashboard. Elephant.Money Futures is a stable coin yield farm on the Binance Smart Chain. It's pretty dope, earns you a half percent a day. I'm in it pretty heavy. And then also the Elephant token, an RFI token on the BSC network that has a market cap of about 119 million. So let's get to it. So basically all you have to do is go to Google Chrome, get this table capture. This guy is verified, but obviously DYOR with 100,000 plus users, install it into Chrome and then it pops up here. And then if you wanna upgrade for the features, you pay the 14 bucks. So it was actually a pretty smooth installation process. So it's pretty awesome. So basically here is an example of wallet analysis, top wallets. It says that there's 664 rows. So to use table capture after you get it installed and then pin it of course with your little hammer here so that it appears up here is simply select a data row. Okay, it doesn't really matter where right click and hit table capture. All right, so this shows, it gives you the preview of the data. Now, when I first started using this, I tried clicking on stuff, but it's better to actually click in the data and then it kind of automatically finds the headers and stuff. It's pretty smart. Then all your outputs are right here. So now there's two types of data tables. There is a paged table where the entire page reloads. But I've found that a lot of the Dune pages are what are called dynamic tables. So where only this data region, this division, is the thing that's updating it. So you can see right now it's sensing 26 rows, okay? Which is correct, okay? So I clicked on the dynamic tables and then I'm gonna turn on auto paging. So what that does is once I teach it which button to hit, it will automatically cycle through all the data. So I'm going to now auto scrolling. I didn't have to use that. That's where the data doesn't load completely in the window, okay? But as you can see, this is a full data set. It's not dynamically loading as you scroll. That's basically a dynamic scrolling where it loads as you scroll. So we're just gonna hit toggle auto paging. Now I train it by clicking the next page button, not the last page. I click that and then you can see the magic starts to happen. Chomp, 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 chomp. We'll let that go ahead and paginate. So what it's doing is it's slurping all this data in automatically. It's pretty sweet. All right, about halfway there. Now, if you had a really big data set, obviously you just let this baby run, which isn't a big deal. Go make yourself a sandwich or something while it's running. So it looks like it finished. It stopped at 665 and 664. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dump this to Excel. Open her up, enable editing, do a little auto fit. And like, this is so clean. I love it. So, and there you go automatically took all the data out of Dune Analytics all up in here and you can start doing your analysis on it. So I'd actually already started another page which is going to show the sample output. So this was 
the futures data. So you can see, I, st I can start basically crunching the data. Like, so I wanted to get the average deposit into the yield farms, and the average deposit is 26.55. The median is 5.98. So the median is more of a, like a, f a true average. So then I use this, and then you can start crunching some data, like averages, medians, or whatever, do some pivot tables. But it's pretty cool. It's a pretty super cool tool. And like I said, it worked flawlessly. I didn't have to shift anything, edit anything, or do anything weird. And the guy has a YouTube channel too, where he's capturing data from different types of sites, probably just different challenges. Golf, eBay, ETA. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool little developer. Like I said, he said he does this as a side project, but it seems to be a pretty, pretty extensively set up tool, and I highly recommend it. So, hope you liked today's video. As always, like, subscribe, and uh, as I stated, if you're not in Elephant Money, check out Elephant.Money if you want to earn some passive income with your stable coins. With that being said, this is Crypto So. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking. No.